So they're gonna find, have to find a way to protect Kuro, and that's gonna be pretty difficult. Are they actually gonna go for this? Oh, Gale is there. Sedoi pops Scorched Earth. He does have a Seder Blast. Not gonna. Oh, he actually might deal enough damage to kill him. There it goes. First blood. Fuck. Else that would have been an easy. Oh, they're gonna initiate onto Kuroki. There's gonna be TP support, but it's at the tier two. And it looks like Kuroki's dead if they continue the pressure. They do. Sedoi takes him out with ease. John him in the meantime. Well, he's being scared off by Nota, who has absolutely no mana. S4 has no mana as well, but they should be able to catch up. Oh, and the crit wow. is actually enough to take him out. He's looking to find somebody in the jungle. He might run into Nota, who's level 4, so no ultimate to work with. He's going to be pulling. Yol is available to come from the side if he wishes to. And actually, Nota doesn't even see this. Now he does. Is he going to get pounced on? He does. But then let's actually take him out. The dark attack is there. Here comes G. Easy kill going the way of BP yet again. Actually, BZZ. Pops his ult to avoid the assassinate. I don't think he's going to drop to this AO. Oh, oh wow, that was really He's close. That was like the last attack. couple ticks. I guess that's the, the benefit of having such a high level AA Did he in just the early kill himself stage. by trade switching? Is that what it was? Because he had Cause... so he had like 120 health and he needed like 10%, right? Yeah. As I think he had 130. And then he switched to agility treads. Effectively oh, reducing some... his max health, but also oh. his current health. Simba really wants this kill. He has one impale to work with. Oh, oh nice. beautiful double. One more right click is going to do it. He goes for... Okay. He does end up taking out the poor Storm Spirit. You'll better be careful here. Oh, he might, if he gets AA Blast, he might run right into it. No, instead BZZ does. And the chase will end here, it seems. I don't think so. Oh, he missed the impale. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Simba. <laughs> That's not what you want to miss right there. Slark does not have his ultimate. Now he does. Pops it. Trying to get a couple last right clicks in. Can he get out? If Secret or whoever ends up second place doesn't actually care, then there's really no advantage. You know what I mean? But I'm sure they, everybody cares to some degree. This tower taking a lot of damage. Looks like it will fall. Fortifications pop though. Dial attempt from, from Jada not going to be there because of the fortification. Actually, no tell going right in. He gets the tower kill. He has his ultimate. So if he dies here, it's definitely worth it, even though it's a ridiculously long cooldown. Supernova Doesn't look like it'll find his end. Here we go. We have a Brewmaster ultimate. Looks like they're gonna go for the for Yol, but he's just gonna use his his jump. Oh my god, he just jumps into death actually. BZZ finds Kuroki. Can they take that. him out? This could be two kills going the way of VP right away, but Big Daddy Notel still has an ultimate to work with. And G positions himself on the other side of the cliff. Oh, the denial! Simba denies himself, or somebody denies him for him. Sedoi on the run. Clark's oh, gonna be found. Gets impaled. They don't actually use the, the vendetta damage, I don't think. I could be wrong it's on that. It's gonna be okay, I think. Oh, Gotta pop his ult. Runs into trees. The pounce. pounce up in four seconds. Oh, he's trying to get saved. Oh, the thunderclap finishes him out. S4 is here, he gets doomed right off the bat. Egg is used. Do they have enough? No, they don't have enough right clicks to take him out. S4 in the meantime. They pursue. They will. Here comes Phoenix. Additional slows come to Wave Wraith who still has that ultimate. Yo, God, he's... Okay, that attack speed is pretty ridiculous from the Fire Spirits, but not nearly enough to save him. Kuro is still not getting great farm, but the other cores are keeping the game alive, and Kuro is getting a little bit of gold here and there from his assists and assassinate. I still don't feel like this is enough. Oh, okay, S4. He gets doomed, he gets no TP support because the rest of his team is in the jungle, smoke up. Now with this gem, it's hard to... Whoa, big, big oh, initiation on the Kuroki, holy crap, how did they have vision of that? Uh, tower looks to be... Actually, they could work by S4, initiates with the Thunderclap into Primal Split, and the crit takes down Venom right off the bat. Meanwhile, Slark and company gonna help take out the AA who uh, did actually use the ult that connected on Slark himself. BZZ has no mana to speak of and is blown up thereafter. G forced the TP out so it's a two for one. Still on no tail because he's not gonna sell it obviously. I don't know why I said still but either way. There we oh. go. He's gonna, oh G's gonna pop the BQ. They should be happy with that trade but Simba gets initiated on with the dude with the G. AA ult will actually only hit BKB target so this pretty much does nothing. They're gonna find No-Tail. Brewmaster ult pops his... Brewmaster pops his ult, I should say. Yol gets assassinated. That is a one for two. He really has Not to clean a No-Tail ult. Jot him. That's true. Where is this... Where is this Phoenix at right now? The pressure continues. BZZ trying to get away. Doesn't have his ultimate to work with a Kuroki's Blink Dagger. Pays off in spades. Doom gets Cyclone. Back to the ground and back to the grave. You go. Four for two. Great job from Secret. There's yeah, I mean, only 15 is up. seconds Remember, on Sedoi it. Remember, bought back, so he didn't use like any of his spells other than level death. 
and he's gonna take a, an assassination to the face. He's probably gonna pop BKB. Doesn't really want to go for no so I feel like it's a waste of BKB in the end. But Kurogi is the one initiated on. They're gonna find him. He buys back right, right away. Raid King, his ult is activated. Yol again is gonna be a sacrifice. Fine, fine, short of ult. It wouldn't have made a difference though, honestly. No. Interesting. Buying a lot of items lately. That okay, makes a well. lot more sense. And now with the Sanjin Yasha also makes more sense because now he has a tech that's going Oh, oh Jada blown up completely. BZZ stuck in the wrong place at the wrong time. He's gonna get support from G. We hear a dude being placed on somebody. Oh, Simba's Kuro, trying to Kuro, run away. Kuro, Kuro. If he goes down, this is gonna be not quite a dieback, but pretty close to it. He falls. So it's a one for one rain fire, a rain hang both being used, but the egg stunts him right off the bat. He can't even get off of one single swing. And here comes the Brewmaster, finally popping that ultimate. He's gonna finish off Sadoi. Simba on the run, but Phoenix is actually there to help take him out. Phoenix, of course, will sacrifice his life in all likelihood to the Brewmaster. And there he goes, BZZ. Gets Cyclone, he'll be up there for a while. The Ranger Axe is the only thing to go down so far. They're gonna focus on BZZ, completely pounce is up, and he'll dodge the ALs as a result. And they get to go for S4, that's really aggressive from S4. G has enough mana to work with 16 charges on his bloodstone. He's gonna go for Puppy. This should be a team wipe going the way of VP and perhaps Arax, the only buyback coming out now for Simba. Don't think that's enough to do anything. He's gonna get rid of G's mana completely. Okay, there's a second buyback now. That might be enough to force them back, but the Rax is so low, I think they just go for it. Oh, he's gonna pop his ultimate. Fortifications used. Simba gets pounced. That is a dieback, whatever you want to call it. And I think they just focus on this Rax. This could be a triple dieback on Master. I think oh, he will BCZ die. trying to kite him just a little bit longer. G has enough mana to work with, I think. Look at this Brewmaster Haze going to work. Nobody can take out this Rax. Finally, they get it. I think they just go for S4 if they can, but G is so low on mana. Perhaps he doesn't want to go for it. BZZ comes back, helps take him out. Raid Fire onto G. That should be a kill going the way of Big Daddy No Tail, but they lost so much. The reason Phoenix is generally these days build 4401 is just that it's really oh, bad. Oh, Stormtrooper, they're gonna find Kuroki, pops BKB, no he looks buyback. to be dead again. No buyback at all. Brewmaster pops his low. Here comes the egg, and is he? I can't tell if he's attacking. It's really tough to see. Ray Ray uses his little puppy, gets denied. Didn't even use his ultimate, in fact. <laughs> hey, good micro for the win, man. G has absolutely no mana, but of course the Aegis, so he's just gonna right click. He doesn't give a crap what's going on now. They're just going for kills. Simba finds himself in a pounce and death shortly after. This is probably gonna be GG soon. There's just too many deaths, too many buybacks, too many diebacks on top of that. And now they're gonna focus on mid racks. G still has the Aegis to work with, of course. Yeah, they're looking oh, real boy, yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure. Yeah, nothing you can do. Absolutely no nothing you can do. Just GG's come totally out. Over. Well played. So Phoenix Very is now nice one from and bro. one, I believe. Look how action-packed that this game was. It was almost two kills per minute. I think we had 75 kills in a 42-minute game. And both teams were definitely hungry for the engages, but I think for this type of game, which is very skirmish-oriented and a couple of team fights here and there, Invertus Pro's lineup was just too good. The Storm pick turned out to be perfect, together with the Slark, a couple of good dooms, and funny enough, as you mentioned about the matches yesterday,